got it on the way. Uh, Ray Shalom, get a bird from GMS New Orleans. We got the elder bird from GMS uh, Jackson, all right, Mississippi. All right, as we always do, we want to open up by giving an infant honor and prayers to the Lord. Oh, oh, once again, double honor to the elders of, of GMS. All right, peace and blessings, salutations once again to hopefully let. Uh, and one of, the, one of the things we were just shortly talking about was our, the, uh, the nationwide event. What you call it out? The digital disturbance. The digital disturbance, because we don't want to say exactly what we want to say, but the digital disturbance that happened today, all right, for uh, the, the cell phones, the towers, the tower being disrupted, right? All these are more or less uh, phases. And I, and I believe this guy, uh, Dr. Swab, you know what I'm talking about. He said if they're them and the elites are ready to go into phase two, right? And we, you know, but go ahead. I, I don't want to. I, I go into that the while. Okay. Cool. I ain't want to kind of. Yeah, you know, we're going at the same time. We're to go with the spirit. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> All right, but you go ahead with the scripture. This is Second uh, Corinthians chapter two, verse eleven. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So as soon as it happened, I know brothers and sisters were raised, knowing that okay, this is planned, mm -hmm. because a couple years ago there was a situation with the gas, mm -hmm. and you know we, we felt it in, in Jackson, Mississippi, the surrounding areas, and within an hour there was already confrontations, people fighting over gas, mm -hmm. and this is in the suburbs, the suburbs mm -hmm. of Jackson, either way it's happening. Mm -hmm. So just imagine you gotta go a week without a cell phone, you know. So, like I said, there's a, when, when Esau has algorithms set up, right, that's going to basically engender chaos. Because one event, one digital disturbance that he could uh, put into the grid, it's going to have a negative ripple effect on society. Right? All right. So, right on what you just said, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 19, verse 2. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. And they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor. Yeah. I'm sorry, brother. And what is one of the things they're going to be fighting over? Because the Egyptian against the Egyptians is really Esau fighting against himself in America, these civil wars. But one thing he's going to be fighting over is resources. Another one is, is political power, all right? Uh, the, the liberals versus the conservatives, the Democrats versus the Republicans, all right? So they're going to be fighting amongst each other. All right, now what does it say in Scripture? I have the battle within itself when I stand. All right. You got it, brother. It's a city against city and kingdom against kingdom. Yep. City against city and kingdom against kingdom. Man. So these are the impending events that are ultimately going to engender the destruction of America, man. All right. The, 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 the missiles is just the icing on the cake. All right. You got it, Kaya. Yeah. This is uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 37 and 7. It says, rest in Yahweh and wait patiently for him. Yep. Fret not thyself because of him who prospered in his weight, because of the man who bringeth in wicked devices to pass. Yep. And this was a wicked device that, that passed. And you know, we, we usually when things happen in Babylon, we know it's not a mistake. Mm -hmm. We know it's not a coincidence. Because one thing about E, he's a cunning hunter. Mm -hmm. And one thing about a, a cunning hunter, his steps are very calculated. He plans. He's very technical, man. So we know that this is most likely a simulation, a, a, a test run. Yeah, but the hunter is all, of, it's all about the, it's really all about the process. The, the hunter always loved the process more than the, than the actual, the, the prey, the, the actual uh, goal that he, or whatever he's hunting. Like, like this other guy said, you notice why a lion never, a lion never kills a wounded gazelle. Because it takes away from the process yeah. of things. It's too easy. But to have that the whole process of hiding in the bushes, watching your prey, running out there, catching it, and you get that ultimate yeah. goal, you know? So Esau, he's a cunning hunter. He loves the process yeah. of fooling you, having you dumb, docile, and bang, crushes you, man. Yeah. You know? And, and what's this what's the ultimate crush when it comes to humanity? All right, is he putting that thing inside you, man. Right. All right? Because this man, he has a, an obsession, a God-like obsession to control your everyday move, man. All right? So there are certain pockets in your life that he doesn't have full access to, man. 
in part you using cash. You know, you you, you you making deals with another man outside the grid. So he wants to monitor every facet of your being, man. All right. That's why it says in the scriptures, the wicked watches over the righteous and seeketh to slay them. Right? Yeah. All right. why he's able to, you know, move, you know, confidently with it, yeah. you know, bold with it. This is a Psalms chapter 10, verse 8. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages, in the secret places doth he murder the innocent. His eyes are privily set against the poor. He lieth and waits secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth and wait to catch the poor. He doth catch the poor when he draweth him into his net. Psalms 17 and verse uh, I'm sorry, 10 it says they are enclosing their own fat with their mouth they speak proudly. They have not, they have now compassed us in our steps. They have set their eyes bowing down to the earth like as a lion that is greedy of his prey. Yep. And as it were a young lion lurking in secret places. Arise, O oh, oh, oh Lord, disappoint them, cast them down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Yeah, and we have to remember too that the sword of the Heavenly Father is the Saul Edom, man. All right, but that's Psalm 17, 13, man. So all the things that are happening, we can't get in the flesh and panic because we have to know that this is the left hand of the Heavenly Father. So that's something to be mindful of as well, man. All right? But the things that are happening, we're doing, we're doing what we were allotted to do. And it's the watch. Watch and measure. And it say, okay, he's doing this because the scripture says this. Now, he's doing this according to the scriptures, right? So we know that he this, this little event that happened, this digital disturbance, it's that lion getting closer and closer to his prey. You know, he's, he's creeping. He's getting closer. And closer. He might tease it a little bit, see if it'll jump. Let me stick my paw to see if the, the prey will stick his head up. No, go ahead, brother. He's got that net ready. He's pushing you, pushing you back, pushing you back until he catches you in that net. What? The digital disturbance when they really hit it, knocking everything out, chaos, and then what? Bring that order out of chaos. Yeah, yeah. Get this, get this thing, and everything is going to go back to normal. Yeah. Because I don't see this too. For a couple of weeks, we've been talking about all right, the, the, the large influx of uh, so-called migrants they have been bringing in. That's just another disruption. Of, of the different uh, towns and cities uh, disrupting their economies, man, bringing in an influx of people, yeah. and they're and they're aiding them in, in, uh, and bringing them in here, giving them all type of benefits. I dealt with a, like two cops down here. They said, man, them people got more rights than us. We can't we can't do nothing to them. Yeah, that's what, that's what the cops said, man. So you can tell this this is an inside job, all right. This is planning and calculating on what they're doing. You got uh, young. Military age men, all men, no women, no children coming over here. Syria, all over. This is another. This is this is what they're getting ready to do. And, and the guy, Doctor Swab, you know, the cloud guy, he said, we, "We're getting ready to go into phase two. All right, disrupting the economies. All right, crashes like today. All right, and ultimately what? Placing you into a cash digital digital dollar, digital currency." Man. Right, and it's gonna happen so fast that you're not gonna even know it. When they do this transition, according to this guy, it's gonna it's gonna be like in the blink of an eye. You, everything is gonna be gone. All right, it's the same thing they did. You ever remember? You remember as a little boy, you used to have, you used to have uh, half a dollar, man. When the last time y'all seen half a dollar? Yeah, all of them, all of them, but they didn't done it. Calculate, but they didn't basically uh, collected all of them in. The different uh mints and shit, the bulk of them gone. Yeah, you know, just 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 to have a two dollar bill right now it actually costs more than having a, the, the, the worth of the two dollar bill is more than the actual two dollar bill itself. 
Because they didn't, the same thing, the same thing they're going to do with these dollars. These dollars, they're going to start taking it out of circulation. And then next thing you know, everything is going to be digital, man. Everything. You know, the swiping on the hand. That's coming. And, you, and we've seen what happened today. These devils can turn you all. Yeah, just like that. Just like that, man. Everything you know. I didn't see people today go straight, lose their top, man, because they can't get on the phone. Mm -hmm. You know? How much more with, with that money? Hmm. I can't use, I can't use my money. I can't yeah. use my car. Yeah. What, what are we gonna do? Well, we got this chip for you. Sign me up. You are gonna sign up for it? Yeah. Real yeah. quick. And we talk about friends, family, people we we close to know, neighbors across the street. They gonna get this shit, man. It's here. And all this, what we see seeing today, this is this is another one of Esau's weapons. He's whipping you into the rejection. You gonna you gonna obey. Remember uh, what that was? Uh, they left. Yeah. Yeah. Obey. Obey. Yeah. Order and all that shit. All the different signs around. Yeah. <coughs> you guys, huh? Ladies, the point. Yeah. Just to add to them, that fourth industrial revolution, I think it's just one stage should be the AI uh, that is going to come into. Yeah. That's the that's, yeah, that's 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 the, that's the Esau left man. That's his angels, man. Yeah. yeah. And it, it, he's getting that energy, you know, like you had mentioned. He's getting that energy, the physical comfort on earth. Uh, these yeah. Esau Edom, you got it? Yeah. Beautiful. Esau Edom, all right, they're working the energy against the what? The right hand side, yeah. man. Right? Good about to face evil, mm -hmm. as we've been saying. That's right. Real quick before you bring that out. This is Psalms 38 and 19. But my enemies are lively and they are strong. And they that hate me wrongfully are multiplied. They also that rid of evil for good are my adversaries because I follow the thing that, that good is. Yeah. I think even, even that other movie, uh, I think I've seen it. Ain't High Robot, the, the robots went rogue. Uh huh. Some shit. Yeah, I've seen some shit today starting with GMC. They're going to start doing shit with GMC and Ford. They're going to start doing shit with AI where if you don't pay your bill or if you uh, owe child support, it's not that the car gonna return they itself back. Itself, they yeah. showed the, show the truck, the truck shifted itself it, from front park into drive and started to go back to the facility, man. They have a, to a whole robotic store in what that's in San Francisco or California. Mm -hmm. It's all bots. Yeah. AI. I mean, it's like an AI ran store. bot store. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that reminds me yeah. of the movie Elysium. Yeah, Elysium was another one. Yeah. Yeah. They was, they was in the police state, but there was robots with the police. Yeah. Jake ain't ready for that, man. All you right. ain't ready for Esau. I was not much more a robot. Yeah. What do you mean? This is a, one of the stages of the fourth industrial revolution, right? Which, like you say, they're reaching Ooh. their magnum opus, which is the what? Their crowning achievement is to fulfill their enterprise. Yeah. yeah. What's the enterprise? The end game is the what? That thing. That thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know what that thing is? Yeah. That, that karagma, yeah. man. Yeah. All right, go ahead. In essence, the fourth industrial revolution is the trend towards automation and data exchange yep. in manufacturing technologies and processes, which include cyber physical systems, IoT, or the industrial internet of things. And that's what that was the C nineteen was all about. The merging of the merging of the, the med world with the with the uh, economy world. All right, right along with the server. Putting everything on one yeah, server, man. Yep. Raffle, all right? Yeah. This is what's going on, right under your nose. The only ones that are talking about it are who? The men of the law starting with the apostles. They ain't telling you this shit, man. And now we're living it, you know? Yeah, that's right. Remember this, you can honestly see it. And they're going to create false agendas and false flags for what? Usher in, man. Yeah. Cyber attacks, power grid, just things yeah. like this. Tests. Yeah. This is not a test. You know, they did that. They, they've been testing they, that. They have been testing that, man. Oh, uh, like in the last couple of weeks, yeah. they've been testing that emergency broadcast what? shit, man. The hell. The hell. You know, test for your emergency when the emergency about to occur. Yeah. Yeah. Right? When you're checking the fire zones at the school, yeah. it's like it's, we, we can potentially have a fire. Yeah. So these simulations that they're showing you, they're showing you not to get ready. It's just that we're about to do it. We got to be ready, man. Yeah. Right? Go ahead. Cloud computing, which was all that's another form of that graph or that information, everything on internet the cloud. Of things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. internet of things. And speaking of the internet of things, we're going to be interconnected, or the plan is for us to be interconnected mm -hmm. through the karate. Mm -hmm. 
because yeah. basically everything is going to be like a computer, all right? And you're going to be plugged into that network mm-hmm. all right, through that corona. Yeah. The interconnection of things. Yeah. Knowing your whereabouts, knowing where you are, yeah. facial recognition. That's what, that's what the whole plan with the C-19 was. And we brought it out time and time again on the block and various other sit down. They made you people go out and put that adult diaper on your face to cover your face up. Yeah. And they systematically went out, put up all these 5, 5G grids, right along with these camera systems to do what? Train these cameras to read the retinas of your eyes with your face covered. Because right now, if I try to open my phone with facial recognition of my phone, I have I have my face covered, the phone will not open. I have to put a code in it. Well, it's getting, it's getting down to where it's going to read the retina of your eyes and, and ultimately open even with your face covered. That's what it, it, they've been... They've been doing this shit, man. You people, you still got assholes driving with the windows up in their cars with a yeah. mask on, man. <laughs> you know? It's crazy. Eating a eat processed pork sandwich, man. Yeah, that's too, you know? <laughs> and loving it. And loving it. And you, you put that pause in it. You got the mask on, but you put pause in it, you know? Yeah. You get the only But that's why, that's why he stopped. That's why there's so much money put behind entertainment. In, in, in the Super Bowl, and right. the yeah, why he fulfills his enterprise behind closed doors, man. Yeah. All right, causing different dramas, yeah. shit that really doesn't happen. Relationships. Who do, who gives a fuck that Taylor Swift is fucking with Travis? They probably ain't even going together. Yeah. They just they just pay them to kiss each other. Yeah. And seem like they in a relationship. They don't even go together, man. It's just to keep you numbskulls. Tuned in, man. And Tupac killed. Yeah, he found us. <laughs> yeah, and, and got Cat Williams going the fuck off. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Tupac killed. You got some brother on here. This is a, this is a book of Psalms, chapter 140. Yeah. And the point is in Bible, yeah. starting to pull. Yeah. Keep me, O Yahweh, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent man who have purpose to overthrow my goings. Yeah. You know, he saw that violent man. It says, the proud have hid a snare for me and cords, and they have spread a net by the wayside. They have set gins for me. Yeah, that's part of the gin that we've been going into through the spirit, man. Uh, and snaring Jake to want, want to take that karate, man. All right? If you have more on the article, kind of. I got a pretty simple back of the statement you just made, too. Um, but it, this is, you know, the more stages to the fourth industrial revolution. Cognitive computing, which you know, cognitive goes into your thoughts. Mm-hmm. You know, what the neural link, what does that deal with? Yeah, thoughts. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and finally, artificial intelligence. Oh, oh yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you might be blind. <laughs> you might be blind, but they say, well, if you get this little disc, you'll be able to see. Mm-hmm. You might have some type of mental impairment. But once you get this thing, it's, it's certainly in your brain. The impairment will be alleviated, man. Right? Left-handed miracles. Left-handed miracles. Signs and wonders. Yeah. They had the world at all. It's like, oh my God, this man he saw he 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 cured blindness, man. He <laughs> had people lining up for that shit, man. Yeah, it don't have to be real, you know. Yeah. They could just, you know, like the, like the church do. They make a guy mm-hmm. pass the gold there and touch a nigga's head. All of a sudden, he can walk now from being uh, paralyzed for years. But that's what he saw would do with this this left-hand technology, man. Except it's not a gimmick, right? No. I got the Thessalonians is one. Yeah, that's cool. All right. The second Thessalonians two, verse nine, it says, Even him whose coming is after the work, the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Right. And we always with this scripture here, one of the main things we gotta deal with is the word working. All right. When it goes into the word in a jail. Mm-hmm. And in a jail it tell, tells you that so-called white man gets his power from the spiritual demon Satan himself, man. That's who gives Esau the power to work to work his magic or his woo in the physical realm. All right? That's who's pulling the string to the to the, to the so-called white man, Satan. Yeah. All right? That's how he is able to rob, steal, pillage, and, and, and basically be, the, be the, the actual guy on this side that's controlling and running every goddamn thing. It's through Satan. Witchcraft, man. Mm-hmm. Witchcraft. Yeah. So go ahead. Yeah, I know what you, I know what you about this. Uh, yeah, when you go into this word, lying wonders, lying in the Greek is pseudos, which means faith, and wonders is teras, which is miracles. So this man has faith miracles set up to deceive the mind of these people. Yeah. yeah. 
And you people believe that shit, man. You suck it up. You know? Like this brother say, you gotta, you gotta, you put a little, a little thing in your brain in the back of your head, and all of a sudden you can see. All of a sudden you can hear now from being deaf, from birth. Yeah. You know? And this, 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 this is what this man do. And it's gonna tell him how many uh, ailments, that too. what a high death rate, all right, that he's gonna be able to alleviate with his little technology, man. With his karate, your brother might not have uh, colon cancer. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. Yeah, definitely Alzheimer's dementia, man. Yeah. And meanwhile, there's a there's a seven billion dollar patent on the word, the, the C word, the C U R E word. Yeah. Yeah. By big, by big, by the big farm. All right. And big farm have been making billions and trillions of dollars for years. Tell me, all of a sudden. This one Caragua, all so called diseases are gone, man. Yeah. Didn't they just lock up uh, seven Yeah, so for 155 years, man. We're just giving information on. Come on, man. Helping yourself. Yeah. But meanwhile, you got a nigga like Benny Hinn and Creflo Dollar. And uh, Joe Austin selling you selling you holy water on goddamn TV. You niggas believe it, man. Yeah. It holy water, but it healed me a lot. Come on, man. It is. Just, it, it is. Stone yeah. it is, huh? Yeah. Stone. Stone it is, man. But this is where we at. I got I got one too. Uh-huh. All right, this is you know, Holy the Goody, uh, Revelation twelve and twelve says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell upon uh, dwell in them, so I can War to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down upon you, having great wrath, because because he knoweth that he has a has but a short time. Excuse me. Yeah. You know? and, and, and at that point, he's gonna get desperate, man. He's gonna get aggressive. Yes. Because lately he's been moving. In the past, he's been moving as a serpent, man. Now he's gonna like really come at us like an apex predator, man. We did talk about it in uh, the book of uh, Babylon, the seventh book two, the three phases of war. You know, first they come acting nicely, mm-hmm. then the, the third stage, or the second stage is they kind of get a little aggressive, all right, and, and, and spread their messages and what and what they want you to do. And you don't listen. The third stage is ultimately to kill you off yeah. your head. Yeah. That. And they gave an example of that. I'm sorry. I want to say all relig- all religions that you see. Came forth by bloodshed. So how much more all the vices of men that was forced on people gonna come by what? Bloodshed. That's right. All right. This man don't have hundreds of thousands of, of guillotine in the in the in in the uh, in the state of California coming from Japan and China for nothing, man. They got people reporting, and we on the ship right now, and they have hundreds hundreds of guillotines being shipped. To California. Why is that? Bloodshed, man. This man, this man don't you don't want to get that chip, man. All right, they karate, they're gonna they gonna kill by that, man. Yeah. So, some of us gonna go as martyrs. Not the majority of us, but they really gonna target us. And the reason why why are they gonna target us? Because we're whistleblowing, man. Through the through the scriptures. All right, we're, we're telling you what this man is. Imagine somebody you, you got a deck of cards in your hand, right? And this brother said, hey, you got an ace of spades. <laughs> he goes, he, give it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah, call yeah. Call him, yeah. I'm on a movie dealer. You got one I can see. You got to go. Yeah. Because you, you disrupting and fucking up what I got going on, man. Mm-hmm. Because what they say, when it, it's something, that's what they say, they say, but like, when it's the platform that the Lord gave us through this, you know, the YouTube world, and it's really, uh, I, Psalms the 19th chapter, the platform the Lord gave us, this thing in wildfire is farther into what? Many, many, many men of the elect waking up, man. So how much more the sincereness out there too? The other seeds that this, this brother and his daily life, he, he dropped drop seeds. This brother dropped seeds. Yeah. You know, this was our daily behavior and walk around two thirds and you don't know, you always been white, brother. You know, you always been white. So how much more the influence of this truth Influencing others to, to follow the Yahweh shot, man. You gotta go. You this treason, you a turncoat to Esau, man. Yeah. You gotta die. You know? 
Simple as that. Right. We're his enemy, and right now he's using covert attacks, removing our pages and <clears throat> deleting your accounts. But soon it's gonna be <clears throat> a covert attack. Yeah, are we gonna delete us and remove us, demonize us, and thus get that last round of scriptures? I got you. Go ahead, bro. That's uh, Psalms 74 and 4. It says, Thy enemies roar in the midst of thy congregations. Yeah. They set up their ensigns for signs. Hey, and, and, and soon they're going to be at the midst all right, of the, the body of your house by small shine. The house of David, man. Yep. You know? That's that congregation that they're really going to be against. And it's going to start with demonization. Mm -hmm. right, part of one time propaganda. It's a demonizing enemy, man. Yeah. All right? You got it, bro. And that word ensigns, I look, you know, just got a couple words in it. They signal, they mark, their banner. Yeah. The warning, the token. Yeah. But I got this word omen. And look the omen, and it says, an omen is a phenomenon that is believed to foretell the future, often signifying the event of change. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it going to it, bro. So, like you say, and an omen an event regarded as important for good or evil, but they're about to change for the evil, man. Yeah. All right. That's why they're roaring in the congregation of who? The the Israelites, man. Yeah. Right? Our enemies is 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 lively against us, they're strong against us. Yeah. So they're gonna come with everything they got. And their sign or their token is the what? Quran. Yeah. That's right. right. That's right. We have a we have a sign and a token, which is the what? The Thawah. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's like, look, we trying to get y'all off the wall. So y'all take the Quran, bro, man. Yeah. That's it. They trying to get us to miss the mark and X marks the spot for them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's their sign. You got it. Literally. Yeah. You, know, you, you got it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got one. It's uh, this Job 5 and 12, because ultimately we do these lessons just to warn our people, but also those of us that send the know just boost our faith. Yeah. The Lord gave us the skinny, everything this devil's about to do. If you see a punch coming, it's not the same as being sucker punched. That's right. You're caught off guard, you, <laughs> your legs wobbling. <laughs> we see this coming a mile away. Yeah. You know, this is uh, Job chapter 5, verse 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty mm -hmm. yeah. so that their hands mm -hmm. cannot perform their enterprise. <laughs> and an enterprise, the NWO. That's it. That, that new age in which there's an Elysium on earth. Well, there's the elite trillion there that everybody else is slaves. Yeah. <laughs> everybody else. That's, yeah, that's what that pyramid is about. That's why they put that pyramid on the back of that dollar with the eye of Horus. Them be on the top of the pyramid, and you at the bottom of that pyramid, right? And there's no, because ultimately what you're seeing now with the with the uh, with the inflation of things, with the with the, the toss up in the economy, they have literally destroyed the middle class. Yeah. There's no. Ultimately, there's no middle class. <laughs> yes. All right. There's only the, the super uber rich. There's the super rich, and there's the poor. Mm -hmm. All right. There's no in the middle. Like, and that's why they say, it, we no more live in the days where you can work a forty-hour job and be good, but the average person has to have three streams of income. Like, where in the world? Why in the world would you need or want to work three jobs? Yeah. Three jobs for three people. Three <laughs> jobs for three people. Like, where's the whole? Go to work and enjoy life. Now you can no longer enjoy life. Yes. But going back to what you said, the middle class gets squeezed out, man. Yep. You know? The blue collars, the white collars, they, you, you gone, man. All right? And that just is, that, and that just a, a little bit of what we just made a plan on going. Yeah, yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah, we just scratched the surface. All right, was it more to that? How do you feel, man? Kyle. This is a. Uh, Sirach chapter 12, verse 17. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. Oh, yeah, like with the um, the thing that happened back in 2020. The whole thing was if you're a minority, you really need to get to yeah. catch up. Yeah. You know, going in the head, they had E, going through the so called black neighborhoods, advocated, you know, people should get that thing in their arm. Yeah. You know, brother, specifically, he put one article that said uh, the most susceptible people are so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Like, who, three, who, who else uses three. that phrase? Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. They talk about us, yeah. Yeah. But they, but they made how many purges have they made? They made about five. five, five this yeah. is about five. I think it's another one coming out. Oh yeah. 
So they, they made two two television series down here. Really? Yeah, to uh what that was? It was uh the, the TV show. The TV show was on uh I don't like F- USA. USA. It was on through USA. So that they're showing you who who they're aiming at. And why do they call it purge? The purge out the Israelites from the planet Earth. Yeah, yeah. But then come back to reality. Yeah, we gotta help the, the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, <laughs> because they're the most uh, susceptible group when it comes to this cough. Right. So they're, they're telling you who they really want off this planet, man. I mean, that's why they bring in a lot of these, a lot of these guys from Boko Haram that were with that, that guy over in Africa, from Syrians, Russians. They bring them over here to, to really get at two jets, man. Mm-hmm. Right. And all of them say they act different. They are they interview a lot of them. Oh, we, we just waiting on that call. What call like that? How? Yeah. You over here in this part of uh, Florida, this other guy just crossing the border in, in Texas, this other guy in Chicago, New York, you asking them different different places, but we just waiting on that call. What call? Like, what the fuck? Everybody waiting on this call from this one particular person to, to, to get it to get it get it get it started, man. Also, I honestly believe there's gonna be a lot of T T attacks all throughout this country, probably at one time. It's gonna totally cripple shit. Yeah, the police, uh, the police, uh, police departments and shit is gonna get totally ambushed, man. Yeah, yeah. He, he, this, this devil, he saw us gonna do his thing. And what do I say? We go with the, with the, uh, I the hard deemed it a hopeful year. Get your trouble. Yeah, yeah, man. This devil gonna do some shit this year, man. Yeah. And I, I you know, it's summertime. It's the perfect time. Everybody out got the short shorts out. Yeah. They got their shirt off on the beach. Hey, yeah, it's the perfect time. Make a rap videos in their neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. Until you hear all our all our hot yeah. some shit and it's over for explosions. Yeah. <coughs> this man gonna, this man ready to cut up, man. They are already planted here. Oh yeah. They are already planted yeah. here, man. Yeah. Been here. And that's why the most high warned you niggas for fifty years. Mm-hmm. From nineteen sixty nine to twenty twenty four, that's like fifty five years. Yeah. Roughly. Yeah. So what the hell is about to happen where it took fifty five years to warn you? Come on, man, you can't do that. That's a, that's a, come on. That's an overwhelm. Overwhelm, yeah. So that means that knowing the, the nature of Abba, what's, what's he, what, what is he about to bring to this country where he, it took 55 years to, to warn you and get your mind right? You know? So the thing is about to happen. When it happens, it's going to be chaotic, man. All right? And, 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 and this right here, this is the only safe house, man. The house of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. Okay? But what this man is about to bring to the table, what he's about to bring to this, this country, man, to this world, you're going to need a higher power. There was the way you guys put the brother. And it's a matter that we consider this Romans 10 and 17. It says, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of Yahweh. But I say, Have they not heard? Yes, verily. Their sound went out into all the earth, and their words unto the end of the world. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to let you do the honor, bro. Okay. We the tough part. Well, I'll put it in there. Oh. Way. The spiritual meaning of 55. What does angel number 55 mean spiritually? Spiritually, 55 signifies a period of transformation, adaptability, and embracing the flow of life. Angel number 55 means positive changes are coming soon. Something new is about to begin, and you can expect to enter an important period of growth in your life. Man. Yeah. And I think the girl, the Jake girl and Leave the World Behind, I yeah. think she had 55 tattooed on, wow. on her shoulder. Man. And, you know, five by itself is power. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Two five is amplified. It's a transition of power. Hey, as a matter of fact, we can just we can close it out with this scripture. Uh, second Ezra six and seven. Mm-hmm. Okay. The second Ezra chapter six verse seven. I was acting in the wow. It says, "Then answered I and said, We shall be the parting asunder of the times, or when shall the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow?" Yeah, you can go ahead. You can go ahead. And that parting asunder really is the missiles, because that that nuclear uh, mushroom, that mushroom cloud, that's the mark. <coughs> Of an end of an era and the beginning of another era, so that's the parting asunder. What is an asunder? What is uh, when something is cut asunder? It's like cut in half. It's severed. It's severed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's severed. 
As a matter of fact, it's a street right out of here, so we're called Severn. 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 Yeah, well, I think it's Severn. Yeah. Yeah. It's called Severn. Good stuff. Good, good, good. Well, basically, it's, it's, we're, we're at the cutting of arrows, man. The division of arrows, man. Go back to that 55, man. Come on, man. You got it, brother. It says, and he said unto me, verse 8, from Abraham unto Isaac, and when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. And that's why everybody's trusting nature for their remedies, and that's why, you know, Jake growing full beards, and he growing afros, and, you know, covering their heads, cover their heads up now. You know, we got two-thirds doing a two-thirds thing. But there's a large number of our people waking up because we're at the transition of powers, man. Mm -hmm. You know, I had a Jake in my car this morning. He said, yeah, he, he went to Jerusalem. Him and his friends took a trip to Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And he was like, you know what he found out? I, like, what? I said, what did you find out? He was like, man, Jesus is black, man. <laughs> he, he learned this from going to Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. But it's, Jake put us all now. Mm -hmm. Jake, who don't know who we are, they put us all like, yeah, yeah you know, we the chosen ones. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, we're five by five, man. Right. Transition of powers, man. Hey, brother, does anybody have anything else? I just want to say this: yeah. a holy transfer, a, a holy transformation is, is is manifesting itself. Yeah. All right, because at the end of the day, the the whole earth groaneth for the, the righteous to manifest. Yep. Which right evil is being put out, and then what? Right, right righteousness is about to flourish, man. Yep. Truth is flourishing. Now it's just increased, and the end. So what? Now you're what's being revealed or that unveiling, all right, that revelation of the things that was written for the happening, the destruction, and also the happening of what? The salvation, man. Yeah. So we had no we, we live in those times, man. Yeah, that's why you see chariots visiting. Chariots visiting, yeah. Sitting over things, hovering. Yeah, yeah. headlines. Headlines. Because yeah. what, what what do chariots signify when you see them in against the, someone's kingdom? Yeah. yeah. The end. Oh, oh they mark the end of it. Yeah, it marks the end of their kingdom. <laughs> their kingdom. Yeah. Entering the house of the beast. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Yeah. Come on, come on, man. Yeah. It's, it, hey, man, it's over with, man. The curse of the Lord. Right now, we're in the house of the king. Hey, yeah, this is going to be that nuke right here, man. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, Sirach chapter 10, verse 8. It says, Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by the sea, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Hey, and it's going to be a people that you never thought would be on top. Mm -hmm. So-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's why in Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, it said, mm -hmm. I got to get it. They're kind of our life matters. Yeah. The, the person that you didn't think would come into power, this will come into power. I got you, bro. All right. This is Rock 11 and 5. Mm -hmm. Many kings have sat down upon the ground. And one that was never thought of had worn the crown. And one, and then ultimately, <laughs> it's your house side because you didn't think that yeah, uh, the, the Messiah was a so-called black man. So you never thought that this man was gonna come and bring order on earth or create an NWO. But under your house side, it's the Israelites. Mm -hmm. Who would have thought uh, Jonathan that clocks in every day would get <laughs> saved and run the world? Jorge. The wild Mexican at work. Mm -hmm. He's an actual elect brother, man. Mm -hmm. Who would have thought this was going to be a future world leader? I'm but sorry. then again, I'm sorry, brother. I was going to say that wisdom of Solomon 5. Let's go. Verse 5. How is he numbered among the children of the Most High? <laughs> yeah. And his lot among the saints. Right? Tyrone? <laughs> like like some, one of us got a government that ain't Tyrone. Yeah. In, 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 in the truth. Of course. One, one of the brothers got a government that ain't Jorge. Probably many of us. Many of us got Tyrone. <laughs> All right, but guess what? Tyrone, Jorge, Maria, those are well the men, those are the future world leaders. Mm -hmm. and, and, a new, and the new standard of beauty is the Israelite woman, not Edomite. So, hey, the, the person that you think, think is Russia's been a part of a power, Moab, Amen, but it's going to be us, man. Uh, I got something. All right, you got it. This Lamentation 5 and 11. They ravished the women of Zion and the maids in the city of Judah. <laughs> Presses are hung up by their hand. The faces of the elders were not honored. Mm -hmm. And it's that low estate, you know, yeah. which, you know, the lamentations, mourners, and the woes that Jake was experiencing yep. during these times, man. All right, it was hardships for what? Not obviously for our sins, but nonetheless, we still the children of Israel. Yeah. Yeah. 
right? Uh -huh. We at the low point in the earth with the lowest eyes and ears have perpetually been in what? In Israel, man. Uh -huh. It says they took the young men to grind and the children fell under the wood. The elders have seed from the gate, the young men from their music. Uh -huh. The jar of their heart has ceased. Our dance is turned in the morning. This is the point. The crown is falling from our head. Woe unto us that we have sinned. And I go back to that crown, man. Yep. Right? Yep. And it's going to be returned. The crown and ceremony that Edra saw. You in that chapter, right? Uh, Five or four. It's somewhere in there. It's it's in right. It's in Edra's. Mm -hmm. But that crown and ceremony, the crown's about to be reestablished on the king's head. Yeah. Those set thrones of David about to be occupied now, man. Yeah. yeah the yeah. bridges are being built. Well, they, the, uh, see, I will build the breaches back yeah, up, man. Yeah. Oh. And you're saying that oh. it's happening, man. Right, right before I watch, you got a group. Oh, oh, was that it on that? Yeah, that was it. All right, and it's good. The scripture is referencing the second, the second chapter. Mm -hmm. But and go with that, yeah, you know, yeah. you're fine, bro. Uh, with that, we hope you brothers and sisters are edified. Once again, we want to give our honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, 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 by Peace and blessings help the world to navigate through it. Baba 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 Baba